In this video, I'm going to show you guys how to do net present value, or denoted NPV. As you can see, we have two projects again, Lori's project and Sean's project. So the first thing I know I want to do is take the present value of each cash flow. So how do I do that? Well, the first one would be 60,000 divided by, and that's 1 plus your interest rate or discount rate of 1.05 raised to the year. So we're assuming a 5% discount rate. Hit enter. And I knew that was going to be negative $60,000 because in year zero it shouldn't change. It's the most present time, so the present value of it should be whatever that value is. And I should be able to just drag down. All these should be dollars. That's one way to do it. Another way to do it, that's the actual formula, which is your future value over 1 plus i to the t. Or what you could do is, using Excel, it's equal to $26,000, or I'm sorry, equals the negative PV, the rate, which is 0 0.05, comma, period 1, 0, comma, future value is 26,000. Close bracket, enter. And see, they should be the same answers. And they are. Now the present value, or the net present value, is just simply the sum of all your uh, cash flows minus your initial outlay. So I know this is already a negative. So what I can just do is basically sum up this. I can sum up this whole column, and that's actually going to be our NPV. So I'm just going to sum those up. So I get ninety-one thousand eight hundred and fifty-five dollars and four cents for Lori's project, and that's the NPV. Now we can also do the same thing for Sean's. And that, like I said, was equal to, and you can do 51,000, I'm going to use the actual formula, divided, the 51,000 divided by, oh, I had the columns wrong, I'm sorry about that. Back up a second. So the present value of the cash flow is the column. It's equal to the $84,000 divided by 1 plus 0 0.05 raised to the year. So I've seen this zero. These are all dollars. Perfect. And like I said before, it's just the summation of all these all these cash flows. So I get fourteen thousand nine eighty eight sixty nine. Now when we're talking about mutually exclusive projects, that's the case that there's say we have two mutually exclusive projects. That's the case that we can only decide one. Well, if that was the case, I would definitely decide Lori's project because of the ninety, the positive NPV of ninety-one thousand. It's a lot greater than the fourteen ninety-eight. So, if the projects are mutually exclusive, we would go with Lori's, and that's usually um, well, that's mainly due to this huge cash flow in year four. Uh, that's why the NPV is so large. But, however, if we didn't have any capital rationing issues or anything like that, we would accept both projects because both of them have positive NPVs.